Now let's say you want to save this website so you don't have to type it every time you want to access it. To do that, you have to bookmark this website. To bookmark a website on a Chrome browser, the first thing you have to do is click here on this one and this will take you to the main canvas where you have access to all the tabs that are open. In this case, I just have this one only. To bookmark, from here, press and hold the tab until it brings some other options here below. Because we want to bookmark, we have to click here where you have add to bookmarks. And there you go, you have bookmarked this website. To go back again to the website, you just have to click on the tab and it will open the website. If you want to verify that you have actually bookmarked this website, click here at the bottom where you have these three dots and then click on bookmarks. It will open this bookmarks window and from here click on mobile bookmarks and you will see at the bottom that I have apple.com saved under bookmarks. One thing to notice here is that all the bookmarks you save will be added below the existing one that you already saved here on your device. So our address is right here. I'm going to click on done to go back to the website. This is how you bookmark a website. One cool thing to show you here is because you have signed in on this device using the same account that you use on other device, all the bookmarks that you have saved on those devices will appear here. Let me show you that. Click on these three dots, go to bookmarks. This is the bookmarks for this mobile. These are the website addresses that I have bookmarked on this device. Click on back to go back. Now here under this window, you have two folders. You have mobile bookmarks and you have bookmarks bar. Mobile bookmarks are the mobile addresses that you have saved on your mobile. And bookmarks bar are the bookmarks that you have saved on your PC or your laptop. Because we have signed in on our PC with the same email address, we are going to come click on it and you can see here that I have a lot of websites addresses that I have bookmarked and I have also organized those links into folders. Let me show you how to do that on your iOS device. Let's go back. Let's go to mobile bookmarks because we are using a mobile device. Now right here under mobile bookmarks, at the bottom you have new folder. Click on it to create a folder. It create a folder with the name new folder. You can delete the name there and then write the name that you want. Let's call this Apple. Once you've done that, click on this arrow to complete the process. It will take you directly to the Apple folder that we have created. Inside this folder, you can create a new folder. For example, let's create here a new folder called iPhone. To finish, let's click on done. Once you click on done, it will close the bookmark window, taking you back to your main tab, which is the browser tab. For here, let's search, for example, for iPhone. Click there and then click on iPhone. There you go, guys. This is the iPhone web page. And now let's say I want to bookmark this address. To do that, click on this one icon to take you to the main canvas. Press and hold the tab that you want to bookmark. Click on add to bookmarks. And then right here at the bottom, click on edit to give me the option to make a few changes. In this case, what I want to say is I want to save this address under a mobile bookmarks and you can see here that the folder where this address is going to be safe is mobile bookmarks. I don't want it to be safe on mobile bookmarks. I want this to be saved under the folder Apple inside the folder iPhone. So I'm going to click here on the mobile bookmarks and you can see here the structure 
of the folders that I have under mobile bookmarks. I have Apple and then inside Apple I have iPhone. So I want to save this address under iPhone. So I'm going to click here under iPhone. And you can see here that the folder name where this is going to be saved is iPhone and right here at the bottom you have the URL. Under the name you have iPhone Apple. You can change this name. If you click there you can change the name. In this case I just want to have it iPhone. If you are satisfied with that just click on done and you can see here right here at the bottom it says item updated and then you can go back to your website. To make sure just to verify that we have saved this address under the fold under the iPhone folder click on these three dots click on bookmarks and because we were already here under the iPhone folder let's click here to go back so in this case you might be here under the main bookmarks window click here on mobile bookmarks because we are working on a mobile then click here on Apple and then click here on iPhone and you will see that we have successfully bookmarked the iPhone web address if you are satisfied click on done and it will take you back to the address tab well everyone that's all for this video if you've learned something don't forget like this video share it comment down below and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one